Good morning, children. Welcome back to the English class. It is revision time again. Ma'am has started revising and has revised some topics from your grammar section. And this week, I'm going to revise some of the lessons which we have done. Today, we start with the cranky macaw. I hope you all remember the story. So here is something to test how much you remember. Quiz time for you. We have rapid fire questions. Round one has answered the following and each question you have to answer in short and it carries two marks each. Round two is true or false. You just have to tell whether it is true or false and it is one mark each. Answer the following are eight questions of two marks each. So 16 and one one mark for true or false. So total marks 20. Please give yourself this test. Test how much you remember and then you will know how much you need to revise. Now round one. Describe Johnny J's constant companion. In this, very quickly, you have to describe Johnny J's constant companion is of course Crazy Coot. How Crazy Coot looks or the physical appearance of Crazy Coot. Then the second one, describe the nature of Johnny's friend. Again, Johnny's friend is Crazy Coot and you have to describe the qualities or the nature, his behavior. Now, what did Crazy Coot like doing? Are the things he liked doing like watching old films, etc. Now, then did Crazy Coot like Johnny's sister? Did she like him? This is very easy, but you have to answer both the parts and there are one mark each for each part. Now, the last question is, what happened one day when Missy May visited her brother's house? That is the last question on this slide. Now we have three more questions for you. Total eight questions. What made the thief turn into stone? What made Missy May escape unhurt from the thief? And the last one in round one. Why did the policeman burst out laughing? Now how many questions could you answer? as I was reading the questions. Please calculate the number of questions you could answer in your mind or even loudly and write down the score out of 16. Two mark each for each right answer. I'm going to give you one minute more to just think, calculate in your mind how many you were able to answer and write down the score. Then we go to rapid fire round two, which is easier than round one. Now let us see what round two has. Round two, of course, as I told you, is true or false. Now I'll start reading and you just write in your notebook T or F. Johnny J was 11 years old when he began sailing in the sea. Second, it was his love for the sea that made him a sailor. Third, sorry, third, Johnny J sailed only in the Caribbean Sea near the island of Guyana. And the last one in this round two, he did not like to stay with his family when he was not sailing. Now that brings us to the end of round two.
प्लीज कैलकुलेट योर स्कोर इफ यू हैव 15 और मोर देन 15 दैट मींस यू नो योर लेसन वेल If you have ten to fifteen, it is okay, but you need to revise properly. And if you have less than ten, then you need to revise more. Now we have to really look for the answers after we have answered from the book. All the answers are in the lesson. So after you finish watching this video please check your answers if you are not sure and then give yourself a score Now we come to the lesson and the exercises from the lesson The first one was complete the following sentences in your own words Now in your own words is very important we have to use our own words and complete these sentences first one johnny j and crazy coot did not like to be in the company of many people because why they did not like to be in the company of many people because meeting people made them cranky and i hope you know the meaning of the word cranky and if you don't then you have to go to the word bank and see what cranky means if you have forgotten or you don't remember second one crazy coot was not an ordinary pet because ordinary is like others spe not special just like the others but he was not ordinary that means he was special he was not like the others because he was very intelligent and could speak like human beings you could write any other word for intelligent you can write clever you can write bright and he could speak like us he could speak like human beings he could speak like man so you can change the words but this is the correct answer he was very intelligent and could speak like human beings now third one i am sure everyone remembers crazy coot would screech at missy may probably because probably is you think that was the reason why someone screeches at someone is because he did not like her you will not screech at someone if you like that person so he used to screech at missy may shows that he did not like her now the fourth one The police were surprised when they realized how Missy May escaped because why were they surprised because she was saved by a talking macaw or a talking bird now this is a very very different thing it is not many a times some pet or a bird saves someone so they were very surprised when they realized how missy may escaped because she was saved by a talking macaw or a talking bird now have you got all the answers in your book and in your english notebook if you don't have or if you think something is wrong please correct, correct it and learn the correct one for your exams now we come to the next exercise answer the following questions question 1 what kind of birds are macaws what is special about them now there are two parts to this question so you have to answer both the parts of the question what kind of birds are macaws macaws are a kind of south african 
American parrot. Macaws are a kind of South American parrots. They are of different colors. And what is special about them? They are very intelligent and can talk like human beings. So both the parts are answered. Now give two proofs. Have you got the first? Now we are going to the second one. Give two proofs from the story that indicate that Johnny J and Crazy Coot were not used to living among lots of people. Now you have to give two proofs from the story which show that they like to live alone. They did not like living among lots of people. Now what are those two? First is when Johnny, Jay and Crazy Coot were on land, they liked to live alone in a cabin on the island of Guyana. Now if you like people, living with people, meeting people, people you would not like to live alone so this shows that they liked living alone shows that they did not like living among lots of people now the second one johnny j kept only one constant company for many years and what was that constant company who was his constant company that was his pet Macau crazy coot. That means he did not have other friends. He did not like having friends. So these two show, these are the two proofs which show that Johnny J and crazy coot were not used to living among lots of people. Now we go to question number three. What would have happened to Missy May had she woken up when the thief was still in the middle of his burglary? When he was still robbing the house? What would have happened if she had woken up? Now this you have to think because in the story she does not wake up. But what if she woke up? So if Missy May had woken up while the thief was robbing the parlor, he might have hurt or wounded Missy May who was sleeping in the same room. So you have to think and answer this one. If she had woken up while the thief was robbing, the thief may have hurt her, may have injured her or wounded her. He could have even killed her. So, you have to think and answer. This is a thinking question. Now, we come to question number four. Why did the thief turn into stone? The thief stood as if he turned into stone when Crazy Coot started speaking the dialogues followed by the sound of sirens and gunshots. He started speaking the dialogues. Do you remember what were the dialogues spoken by Crazy Coot? Yes. You thief, you kill me, leave me alone. I call police, you go to jail. So they thought someone is speaking and has seen the thief. Then these were dialogues were followed by the sound of sirens and gunshots. So the thief was surprised because he thought that besides sleeping Missy May, he was alone in the room. But when he heard these dialogues and the sound of sirens and gunshots, he thought someone else was there and he did not expect someone to catch him. Got it? If you have got this answer, very good. If you have something which is left out or which is not there, please add this to your answer and complete it. And if there is an error, correct it. Now the last question. How do you think people decide which animal, bird or reptile 
they want as a pet now there is no one answer to this question you can have different answers the answers will vary from one student to another but you have to write a paragraph and tell how people decide you could write about the finance that means how much money they have to spend on the pet then the space then do they have people or the uh, they themselves have the time to look after their pet and so many other things so please write this on your own and each child should have a different answer so now all the five questions and answers you should have in your notebook you should also have complete the following sentences and please check whether your answers are right and then you can start learning for the terminal exams now we come to the word bank or word meanings words are given in the word bank and meanings are also given you have to write the meaning if the word is given and if the meaning is given then you have to write the word and you may be asked to make sentences using the words given so you have to prepare it properly now what is the meaning of the word cranky i had asked you when we were doing questions and answers yes cranky means strange bad tempered now if you forget one of these you have to write one at least and if you remember both very good the second word rump rump means back side third pirates people who rob ships are called pirates scarlet of course is bright red now guyana an island in the caribbean it's a name of a special island so it's with a capital g it's a proper noun plumage the feathers covering a bird's body constant not changing screech make a loud high unpleasant sound now what you are supposed to do is write the meaning and it is not compulsory that you write the exact words without understanding them please understand the meaning of these words and you can write the meaning also in your own words but it has to be the correct meaning it could not be or it should not be something which means something different now some more words ecstatic means very happy parlor is a small room for guests tripped stumbled and fell now if something comes in your way and you stumble on it and fall down it is called trip ignored here it is the past tense that is with a d so did not pay attention and ignore means do not pay attention now children please remember if the word is in the past tense like tripped and ignored your meaning should also be in the past tense and if it is in the present tense if suppose tripped was trip then you have to change it to present tense and write stumble and fall ignored i have told you if it was in present what you would write so now you have to remember the meanings of all the words learn correct spellings you cannot afford to write wrong spellings because your marks are cut if you write wrong spellings 
and you must be able to use all these words or the words not the meanings some children when they are asked to make sentences they use the meaning which is wrong if for example you get the word ignore and it means did not pay attention you are not going to make a sentence using the meaning my friend did not pay attention to me yesterday that is wrong though you have the correct meaning used in the sentence but we had asked you to use word so you have to use ignored my friend ignored me yesterday and then you have to underline ignored second thing is you cannot make sentences from the story that means you cannot take words like crazy coot missy me johnny j or any incident which happened in the story you can change the name or you could change the incident and then write the sentence that is okay but we are not going to write exactly the way it is in the story now today's prep is after you watch this video at least once carefully then you have to give the meanings of the following words and use the words in sentences of your own please copy the words in your notebook then don't watch the video just write the meanings on your own that means without even looking at the book but if you think you are not still okay with the meanings you first watch the video then learn the meanings from the book then close both and write the meanings after you have written the meaning you have to use the words in sentences of your own so what are the words screech second word is trip third word parlor fourth word scarlet fifth word constant sixth word ignored and the last word is ecstatic the last word is ecstatic now please first learn the meanings don't watch the video while you are writing the meaning close the book and then write on your own in your class work notebook after you have written all the meanings use them in sentences of your own and underline the word you have used now in questions and answers and complete the following also i want to tell you something if the question whatever is given is in answer in detail then you have to write a longer answer if the answer you need is of a question which is in answer in brief then you can write a short answer so you must see which type of question is it whether it's answer in detail or answer in brief and how many marks does it carry if you require to answer in detail then you should be able to for example what kind of birds are macaws what is special about them you could add one or two more sentences if like it is in answer in detail 
Now, how do you think people decide which animal, bird or reptile they want as a pet? Again, you have to see whether it is in answer in brief or answer in detail and where it is should help you to decide the length of your answer. All these questions can be asked in answer in detail or long answers. So you will have to write more and if it is in answer in brief, then you will have to write less. So you must think and write. Please don't think that if we have written just one sentence in the notebook and it is in answer in detail, then you are going to write just one sentence. No, then you have to write a little more. And if it is an answer in brief, then one or two sentences are enough. Now, please do your prep honestly after closing your book and write it in your own words or in the words of the book. And then after that, Use these words and write sentences of your own in your English notebook. Thank you children. That is all for today. Have a nice day till we meet next time with a revision of another lesson. Thank you children.